Well, it wasn't the way you wanted to start your day. A family was awakened in the middle of the night to news that their car was on fire. An Ocala police officer who was patrolling the 700 block of Southwest 5th Street early this morning noticed a vehicle in flames. The officer notified the family and got them out of their house as the car burned. TV 20's Nico Clements tells us the family wants to know why. Melinda Blunt says when she put gas in her car Sunday afternoon, she didn't notice anything wrong. Even after her son drove it Sunday evening, he says there were no problems once he got home. She knows that someone out there is responsible for torching her car. Your first initial thought? That somebody had stopped my car on fire. Melinda Blunt says in the nine months she's been living here, she's never had any problems like this before. It's sad because it's hard. I'm a single parent and I don't have no money for no down payment or nothing like that. So I don't understand why people do that. Blunt tells police that she believes someone set her beige 2013 Chrysler sedan on fire with a flammable material. She was in her house sleep when she heard somebody knocking on her door just after 2.30 in the morning. She would soon find out the bad news. I was upset and whoever did it, I was crying and everything, and whoever did it, I hope they come for it. Melinda Blunt says she doesn't mess with anybody, so she doesn't understand why someone would do this to her car. But she tells me this is a family that's going to stick together during this tough time. Yeah, I'm upset because I was wrong and got kids and stuff in the house to blow the house up with the kids and everything in the house and everything. That was very wrong. Whoever did it needs to step forward because they're going to catch them sooner or later. According to Ocala Police, the case is pending further investigation. The loss of the car not only affects Blunt, but her children as well because it was the family's only car. I was mad. All I could think about was somebody setting the, the car on fire because that's the only way we get around. For now, the Blunt family is thankful that they had an officer riding down their street at the right time. And I want to thank Matt Boss for riding by because if it went for him, it could have been worse than what it was. So thank you. Ocala Fire Rescue officials say this has not been ruled in arson, but the fire is still under investigation. Nico Clements, TV 20 News.